a nothing neck is that actually a style hey guys i hope you're all well welcome back to my youtube channel i am very husky today and very pasty um can you tell how dark my foundation tone is compared to my natural skin skin tone um i am bringing to you today an another amazon haul it's been quite a while but i've been stocking up on some pieces for autumn winter and i know that people often don't shop at amazon fashion because they find it quite overwhelming which i personally used to too i feel like you have to get into the hang of like what to search for which brands are the best and that kind of thing but lucky for you guys i'm here to do that for you and i've actually got an amazon winter blog post coming up with like a full on um like the down low on what to look for where blah 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 and like my top edit of like coats boots jumpers trousers like all sorts so that's coming soon so make sure you keep an eye out um but yeah i've got loads of things to show you guys keep looking over because i've got a big pile here uh but first i wanted to talk to you about what i'm wearing which is this so i'm obsessed with this sweatsuit set i've actually got barbecue sauce on it from when i had mcdonald's in it the other day um i just haven't i've literally not taken it off but it probably needs a wash right now but i wanted to show you guys it it's so soft like I love sweatshirts and I've got so many sweatshirts but this one's like really soft on the inside and the outside and it's really thin like you know and you could like it's not I feel like some sweatshirts are really stiff and thick so this is like really thin but still cozy um and it's just like really comfy because it's so soft and like flexible to move around it I don't know like what terms I'm trying to use here but it's just like yeah really comfortable and I feel like I've got the joggers too Ta -da! Um, and I feel like, as a set, like, they look, obviously it's loungewear, but I feel like it's a sort of loungewear that you'd wear out of the house. Like, I would wear this with a nice pair of trainers and a nice coat for autumn winter out of the house. <laughs> Come on, if you want to be a part of the video, then be a part of the video. Don't shy away from it. Um, and yes, so Penny blends in perfectly with this jumper. Um, so this is like the loungewear set that I'm like living in at the moment. Uh, as soon as I get home, anyone who watches my vlogs and stories will know that as soon as I get home, I literally just put this on. And that's if I've not already been out wearing this because I've been taking Penny for a walk, nipping out to the shops and stuff. Like, I'm happy to wear this. I don't feel like it's the sort of thing that looks like slobby. Do you know what I mean? Like, it still looks nice. Um, and they did have it in another colour that was like more pink because this is like more of a brownie pink. And I had one that was more of like a pinky pink. And then I had one that was like more like greens and pinks and like more vibrant colours if you wanted just something a bit more out there. So now that Penny's here, I'm not going to work through this methodically. I'm literally just going to go through as and when I find the products. So the next thing is another sweatshirt that I have been loving. And it's this one from Fruit of the Loom. I'm obsessed with anything from Fruit of the Loom menswear because i love anything oversized you guys know are you quite comfortable there please what are you doing um and i actually got this so you guys might remember that i got this and if you watch your vlogs you'll definitely recognize it um in summer in gray and i literally wore the gray and still do wear the gray all the time um and i just love it over things um like i think it looked nice with a shirt underneath uh, it's just great for layering looks nice dressed up dressed down like with jeans and stuff um and then I, my sister had it in this lovely forest green color and as soon as i saw it on her i was like i've got to get that it's sort of such a nice wintry color um and just i just don't think you can have enough sweatshirts then i got a pair of shoes i got a new pair of trainers from a brand i've never tried before called selected femme and i don't know if they were a featured brand on amazon but i just saw them and really liked them so they really remind me of the prada trainers um i'll put a picture in the prada ones um so they have that kind of vibe to them obviously a lot cheaper and these are actually leather white leather so i thought they'd be really good uh, as an option for a white pair of trainers for winter um because i love a pair of white trainers and they um because they're leather they'll like wipe clean like and it won't matter if they get wet and stuff so another sweatshirt can you guys tell i'm sweatshirt obsessed um, by the way, I'm doing a collaboration with Amazon on my blog, so I got quite a few things, I uh, got a voucher to buy most of these things from them, so I just wanted to let you know that that's why I've got an excessive amount of things at the moment. Um, yeah, so this sweatshirt is from Pepe Jeans, 
and they have it in white too which is also really nice like a kind of off-white cream color um but i wanted to get the navy because i just thought it was really cute and because it's got this little bit of pink in it i thought it'd look really nice with the pink shirt layered underneath so i'm really liking shirts under sweatshirts and jumpers at the moment like as a look um so talking of jeans these don't actually i don't think these fit me anymore but i might try and put them on and just wear something over the waistband so you can't see uh, i'm pregnant by the way that's why um but these are my levi 501 jeans i'll put a picture of me wearing them in so you can see they are the perfect length they are the perfect shade they are the perfect fit they're just like the perfect jeans and i know this is a light wash denim but i like wearing this kind of classic light wash denim all year round i think it looks nice for winter as well as summer i don't think it's ex exclusively a summer denim but i did get them in black so i'm going to show them in black too so then i picked up the kind of i i'd say black but i feel like they're kind of like a washed black which i always personally prefer to like a jet black i like jet black in skinny jeans but in other styles of jeans i'm just not a fan so i definitely prefer this washed denim and i got these in a bigger size and sometimes they fit me depending on how big i am that day like it's really funny like some days i wake up and i literally have no bump at all and sometimes i'm huge um so they might fit me today <laughs> fingers crossed um and they are just the same style but i got a uh, different waist length um and i just thought they would be really nice for autumn winter too love a pair of black jeans in autumn winter uh, not that i don't like them in summer too but I just thought it was a bit excessive to get too many of the same jeans. But then I thought, new season, new colour, so it's perfectly fine. So now we move on to knitwear. And um, I picked up, the first thing I picked up is this jumper. Can you see? I don't know if the light's like blocking it out. From Wrangler. Now, I know Wrangler do jeans. I've never had any of the jeans. I think this is the first thing I've ever had from Wrangler. I'm really impressed. It's really good quality. Like, it looks so nice. Uh, it's got this kind of like high neck without being like a super high neck. Like just like slightly raised which i really like i just find it way more flattering than a roll neck and way more flattering than like a nothing neck <laughs> a nothing neck is that actually a style um and it's kind of got these like drop shoulders um so the next thing i picked is like a knitted set which is so cute i've seen these all over like zara and stuff and i spotted this one and thought it was adorable so we've got a pair of knitted shorts and we've got a knitted cami which i've actually worn to death already because it's a great layering piece uh, and comfy and warm and then a knitted cardigan so all of these pieces obviously so bright because i've got a window in front of me all of these pieces you can obviously wear separately but then they also look really nice together um so i bought them to wear them all together they've got the same full set they are sold separately in like a brownie color too which is also really nice but i'm just a cream kind of girl um and the thing that i definitely will get the most wear out is this cardigan it's really chunky and warm it's got pockets it's oversized i got it in a large the top cardigan medium for the top and medium for the shorts because obviously i'm growing um i'm gonna stop talking about how i'm growing because <laughs> you guys know that um but i'll put all oh what i'll do is in the description box i'm going to link everything and i'm going to link the size that i got and then i'll also just do a roundup link to my amazon shop where everything will be linked to but if you want like the direct links that'll be on there too then another knitted set that i got after i saw on we are twin set on their video um is from another amazon own brand it's from amazon find i believe uh, and it's these amazing knitted trousers now the trousers were like the main reason i got it but i had to get the set because i just feel like it's a set you can't break them up i got these trousers they're kind of like a wide leg but like not a flared trouser they just go straight down they are so comfortable if anyone else is watching this and pregnant like literally you need these in your life but even if you're not pregnant and you just like being comfortable like me then get them um i can't remember what size i got because it doesn't actually have them on the label but i will find out and write it the best thing about these knitted trousers is a they have got pockets because i feel like loads of knitted trousers don't have pockets and i like having pockets and second of all they are long they are long people i'm five foot seven 
and they are long enough on me to wear like over trousers. I, I wear them outside, like per picture in. I shot them the other day when I wore them out. I wore them out of the house and I felt comfortable in them because I feel like all the other knitted trousers that I've ever had in my life have been like ankle bashers and so they just look ridiculous. Like it's fine to wear around the house and stuff but I would be embarrassed to like wear them out because it would just look like I went out in my pyjamas. But these are like smart knitted trousers and honestly, you heard it here first, heard it, you heard it here first. I honestly think that these are gonna be a big trend for autumn winter. I've seen a few of them coming out around, uh, but I haven't seen many people wearing them yet, but mark my words, I think they're gonna be really popular because after summer, and everyone's like, love affair with loungewear, looks like we could potentially be going into a second lockdown. Who knows? Also winter, you wanna be cozy, and I just feel like we all have kind of like moved into a more casual, comfier style since being in lockdown and having a love affair with um, loungewear. And I just believe that these are gonna be a key winter wardrobe staple. And I'm really kind of wishing it on myself so that, because I think that I'll, uh, I think these are definitely gonna be a key piece for my wardrobe. So another pair of autumn trousers that I got literally like the week before my bump appeared and they fitted me and they still kind of fit me and they've got this zip on the side so I can unzip them when I'm wearing them and it's these faux leather trousers They're like faux leather leggings and I know in one of my videos recently I said that I didn't like faux leather leggings and I also said I'll probably change my mind and here I am changing my mind um, so I don't know if you call these trousers or leggings and um, they're like leggings but they're not like super tight on the ankle, but they are tight enough to wear tucked into boots and they look really cool tucked into boots. Uh, and they've got, they've got this like biker chick detail on the knee and they're just really nice. And the best thing about them is they're really stretchy, bonus points, but they don't look like thin, cheap leggings. And they've kind of got this like really soft, almost fleecy inner, which is just like the perfect, comfy, warm winter thing to have in a pair of trousers um because they don't look like they'd be a comfy pair of trousers but they are they like feel like joggers on because they're so soft then the last piece of knitwear i have to show you and i just put those trousers in with the knitwear is this jumper from a brand called daily ritual and i've never seen this one before on amazon but i think it might be an amazon owned brand i don't know if it's a new one and they actually have this polo neck in like every color under the sun I got it in this really nice pink colour because obviously I like pink. We can all establish that by now. It's just a really nice long jumper, classic polo neck, oversized, cosy, winter, warmer. Like who doesn't need a polo neck like this in their wardrobe? They had it in like black, light grey, dark grey, camel, white, icy, like gr light, light grey, whitey colour. Um, literally every, every colour you could imagine. Um, and they've got loads of really nice looking like cosy, warm, pieces um from that brand so i feel like it's definitely one that i'll be checking back with um but yeah i just want to show you guys i got this color because i don't really have a jumper this color but i definitely can see myself getting it in another color because i just think it's the kind of thing that doesn't really go out of style and it's the kind of thing that you wear year after year speaking of things you wear year after year i also got a coat this wouldn't be a winter haul without a coat and i've got a puffer jacket and i've wanted a puffer jacket for ages i'm not going to open it up because that's going to be a struggle um, but this is kind of like a cropped one. I don't really wear coats like this open, uh, done up anyway. I would wear it open. I just thought it looked really nice for like layering, really warm, and I feel like a black puffer jacket is quite chic whilst also being very practical and warm. So I thought I'll probably wear it a lot, like for life, just like going to the supermarket, taking a penny for a walk. Um, nipping into town but also like it will look really cool in pictures and stuff too do you love that that I'm like life and for pictures because um, that's what you want you want things that you wear in life and that you have and I feel like all of these things I want things I wear in life and want for pictures then I have a few pairs of shoes to show you guys and none of these are actually like super new though I haven't shown you this pair that I have and I haven't I haven't shown you in a haul but I've done a video on them so I'll link that below too a ways to wear done that on another one actually um um I'm going off course. Um, and it's my Doc Martens. And I love these shoes so much. They're so cool. They literally make every outfit look 10 million times cooler. Like, I can't even tell you. Um, these are the Jaden boots. And I'll link them below. I actually compared prices. And I think they're cheaper on Amazon than anywhere else as well. Which is really good. 
Um, just for size reference, I am a size 8 normally in shoes. And these were size 7. But 8 is 41 in like Topshop and other places. I always reference Topshop. I feel like it's because everywhere everyone shops there. So like, if I tell you the size I am in Topshop, then you'll know like what size you are. Um, but size 7 in Doc Martens was a 41. So I got the size 7. They feel like they could have a tiny bit more room, but equally I'm still wearing them in, so I think like they'll be fine. Um, and yes, not comfortable yet, still wearing them in, but I can wear them without getting blisters now, so whoa. We are making progress, people. Then I've got a couple of pair of trainers to show you because I feel like I'm just such a trainer person these days. And the first pair are these ones, and these are one of the first things that I got from Amazon Fashion, um, potentially the first thing and i still love them and wear them all the time they're just such a classic i actually prefer them to the all white um nike air force one just because i feel like there's just something to them whereas i feel like the all white ones are really nice and stuff but i just feel like these ones there's just a bit more to them if you know what i mean i got these in the men's section i don't think you can get them from the women's section but they have like men's ones and kids ones and between them they pretty much cover all sizes I don't know if men's sizing is different either, but I got the size 7 ones and they were 41 as well. So again, would have been a size 8 in Topshop. <laughs> um, and I also did a ways to wear these, but it was summer related. So let me know if you want me to do an updated one for autumn winter. And then last but not least, another pair that I think I've shown you already are my New Balance 624 trainers. Um, and these ones are like the cheapest New Balance I've ever found. I feel like they don't look cheap, they look expensive, but I don't, I don't actually think they're leather. I'm not 100% sure though, but surely for that price it can't be. Um, but they look like a kind of a cross between the 990s and the 560s, like the two most popular styles. Um, and they are only £45, which I think that's amazing to like get a pair of New Balance trainers for that cheap because the 560s are £90, I think, and the 990s are £190. So I think... For £45, these are an absolute steal. Um, and if you're looking for like a new pair of trainers for winter, again, they're like, I don't know if they're leather, but that, that kind of material. So they will white clean like the New Balance, uh, uh, the, the, the Nike, sorry. And um, just think they will look really cool, especially like imagine them under the knitted trousers um, and with your jeans and stuff, leather leggings for like a monochrome look. So I wanted to show you those because I think they're a really good, like affordable trainer option. So that is everything that I want to show you guys I've literally this is going to be such a big haul it's like the biggest haul full stop that I've probably ever done and Penny is literally oh my god <laughs> you are so lazy she is like I'm sat on her tongue she's like oh my gosh don't grab me oh she's like the laziest girl in the world you have to say bye to people Say bye. So thank you so much for watching our video. We hope that you enjoyed it. If you're getting anything, then do let us know. Let us know if you shop at Amazon or not, because I'd love to hear. And make sure you keep an eye out for my blog post. Also, I'm gonna do loads of content for Black Friday. I've been thinking about it. I know it's like coming fast, but it's also very far away. Um, so yeah, for like Black Friday and Cyber Week, I'm gonna do loads of content. So let me know like what you guys wanna see. Do you want to like tips on how to shop it? Do you want roundups? Do you want like just hauls? Um, if you do, like where do you want them from? Like I'd love to hear what you guys wanna see basically for Black Friday and Cyber Cyber Week. I was gonna say Cyber Wednesday. Was Cyber Wednesday a thing before Cyber Week? Hmm. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye.